In Uganda, we have two seasons like any other tropical country or African tropics. We have wet season and dry season. Dry season, this is where we have less or no rains and this is the time we call peak season because we have many visitors that come to visit Uganda. This is in January, in February, in June, in July, in August and in December. This is a very good time that you can come and visit Uganda. Hello everyone. Thank you for watching Big Nine Wonders. My name is Tarsis. I welcome you into this new episode where we are talking about the best time you can visit Uganda. If you have that question to know what is the best time that I can visit Uganda, this one is the information that can help you or that can guide you to have the amazing experience in Uganda. The major factor you have to consider is the season. As like other tropical countries in Africa, Uganda has two seasons. That is the, the wet season and the dry season. The dry season, this is the time when people will have to come because it is convenient for them. There is less or no rains, especially in the national parks. It has advantage. For example, like in the month of January, in the month of February, in the month of uh, June, in July, and in December, this is the time when there is no rain and it is very easy to spot the animals at the water points. It's also very easy to spot the animals in the savannas because there is less uh, grass or less, uh, the, the, it, is dense, it is less dense. Also, it is the, a very good time to walk in the forest. For example, you come for chimpanzee trekking or for uh, gorilla tra uh, tracking. It's very easy to walk or to track gorillas and chimpanzees. So it has very many advantages. Actually, this is the time when it, we can say it is the high season or peak time because many people come to visit Uganda during this time because of those advantages. And also not forgetting the, the average good temperatures and also the clear skies and the green vegetation, which can also be good for your adventure. Then we are talking about another season, which is wet season. Wet season, this is when there is a lot of rain. With this a lot of rain, it is very hard for some activities like gorilla trekking or chimpanzee trekking like in Ichibari National Park. This is like in the month of, of April. This one is somehow very hard to, to track chimpanzees. However, the average uh, hot, uh, uh, wet season of like in the... In the, in the in March, like in, in September, like in November, still uh, activities can go on and people still can visit. Because this time has advantages. For example, the rates are very low uh, in, in terms of costs, costs. And also, this is the time when the national parks are less packed or there they, they are very few people in the national parks. So it can be for your convenience. So people prefer to come at this time because they will have advantage of having less people in the national parks or less congested and other uh, factors that they consider. For example, it is very clear uh, in the sky and the vegetation is very green during this uh, time of wet season. So uh, planning for your adventure or for your safari to Uganda will depend on your convenience. And I also advise you that you first contact your tour operator to advise you depending on the activity you want to do because some activities are very good in a certain season like when you need to have like walking we have talked of the trekking for example if you want to do like uh, white water rafting or you want to visit some islands uh, or different activities will depend on what you want so you can contact your tour operator so so or tour organizer that will help you to get best out of Uganda's adventure. Thank you so much for watching our videos. We hope that you have enjoyed our, our video and we ask you that in case this is your first time, you can subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out the amazing side of Africa. Thank you so much.